This seems to me pure religion and undefiled, as it says in the scriptures. Seeing our brothers and sisters in need and doing something about it. We're reaching out heart to heart and hand to hand and soul to soul. The church provided us food, hygiene kits, and clothing. I give thanks because at that moment they were always by our side. Even though we are not members of their church, we always receive their support. I think that the manifestation of love that has been expressed in the way the LDS Church has provided assistance, boy, that's a powerful, powerful message. Our partnership with the LDS Church is absolutely essential for the Red Cross to be able to fulfill its mission every single day. With us, the church has been there in so many different parts of the world in large numbers, but it really comes down to the individual. It's when you look at those individual stories that it brings our mission to life. When I saw him for the first time, he seemed in bad shape. I thought he wasn't going to live. Each day in our hospital, approximately two or three children need to be resuscitated at birth. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has given us a marvelous contribution by providing courses in neonatal resuscitation. We carry out two to three training courses each year to train about 10 to 15 doctors, nurses, and medical residents. Training the trainers, and that group can then teach and train. And so there's a sort of a ripple effect here that that little pebble in the pond goes a very long way. Every time I come, I see him nice and clean and healthy. I see him breathing better, calmly. I thank God for everything he has given me. For the baby who is making good progress, I thank God. Prayers are answered most of the time, I think, by God using other people. Well, I pray that he'll use us. I pray that we'll be the answer to people's prayers. The most critical thing about disaster response is moving large groups of people to the site of a disaster. And there is no one that can mobilize groups of people better than the LDS Church. They have helped us in our vaccine program to help stamp out measles, which sadly is a disease that takes the lives of so many children each year. We're very aggressively vaccinating children all around the world, and they have helped us by providing feet on the ground to help us be able to do this. I think when groups of different faiths can come together, it can be transformative. Not caring about what religion somebody might be, or what political persuasion or ethnicity. If you need help, you're helped. I think it sort of boils down to true believers of Christ and his teachings, and I'm amazed at every aspect of every life that the LDS Church touches throughout the world. In our country, very few people have water in their homes. All are used to the custom of going to fetch water from either the pond or rivers or streams. When people use desert water, they are always affected by cholera, malaria, and it even goes to typhoid. Dirty water means unhappiness. There will be many sickness. Clean water means happiness. If I could speak for the people of Sierra Leone, I would say a big thank you to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for blessing our lives, for coming to our aid at the most needed time, for saving lives, for saving children who would have died. We appreciate it so much. 
we all have ringing in our ears Jesus' declaration that inasmuch as you've done it unto the least of these, you've done it unto me. The great commandments are to love. It's a Christian motive of the highest order and a satisfaction that is far beyond anything of this world. If I would talk to the people that put these things together, is to tell them their time and their efforts do not go in vain, that many lives would be blessed because I know how each of these things bless the lives of me and my people in those times of needs. It makes me feel the love of God to know that we're all in this world to bless each other's lives.